this is the energy vibration for the scorpions and moons and rising sign i want to say thank you for being here it is a double energy week it is a week number 22 the week begins from the 28th until the 3rd of june i want to say thank you for being here welcome all newcomers and please like and share these videos listen to your a monthly reading because the monthly reading is already out let's see what is going to happen because this is a week of the lovers and with the energy of um week of the lovers with the energy of um the um uh, zodiac energy of the hair monday positive energy money you are trying to um build on your financial stability good news is coming on tuesday so that is wonderful on wednesday you have to deal with a lower energies the ego be careful um whatever is your financial situation it's going to be good not to worry um the king um the prince from pentacles comes in so you could be working with this person the prince from wands comes in and the energy of an offer so and yuli had best well a city see and days a person come so far up in the um care position some of and yuli have a city that may to mark with Emon that is an um, Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, positive news come in the beginning from the vague. Some of the newly correct positive news from Emon that is an Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. In the middle of the week, good news comes from someone who is um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and especially for you men or women that is between the ages of 18 to 45, positive news. Be careful of a lower energies and be careful of your ego. Now, end of the week, your egos come in or um, people with the lower energies, and it has something to do with your financial situation, but there is a good start that is coming for that because an offer is coming up to you now some of the fun yuli can i can offer from um emon that is an uh, steer uh, that is a taurus virgo or a capricorn so you are going to be receiving energies um from positive energies um you men over the age of 40 be careful of your egos okay there is a situation that is going to be happening good news could be coming from someone who's a taurus virgo or a capricorn but be aware of your egos okay listen to your intuition because there is something that is not told read the contracts read the fine print be careful of what you sign in this week because obviously there is a trick to what you are going to sign then we have the energy of the six of pentacles and um, some of you are going to be receiving success and help from someone um, between the ages of 18 and 45 that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so a lot of you are going to be receiving help and this is going to be money coming in so this is actually a wonderful week for you guys especially when it comes on to work whatever the situation that you have to deal with with someone who was an aries leo or a sagittarius um you have overwind this thing and um you are getting some um accomplishment um of things that you have done a lot of accomplishments are going to be coming in of things that you have done this is a wonderful week for you scorpion because um there's a lot of help coming in for you scorpion and i'm seeing um the scorpions that are um 
between the ages of 18 and, and, and 45, there is going to be wonderful positive energies that are going to be coming in. Help is going to be coming. Some of you men could be receiving financial um, help from someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Good news is coming in from this person, okay? And as we look in the middle from um, the week for the people between the ages of 18 and 45, there is going to be good news coming at you. Wonderful news, but be careful of your ego. And it's not only... Um, it's gonna affect every everyone. It's not only um, certain people. This is gonna be affecting everyone. Uh, but um, um, if you have um, a son that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, um, be careful. You know, with his ego. Be careful with his ego. Listen to your intuition. There's a lot of success that is going to be coming in for you younger people. A real, uh, you know, a lot of success. There is um, financial gain that is going to be happening. Um, some of you are going to be making decisions, balancing out um, your financial situation. Some of you um, have to deal with a situation. Let's see what is this financial situation. I'm seeing a new start. But let's look and see exactly what is going on with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It has to do with the organization and there's a lot of new office that is going to be coming in. The number seven is going to be your energy vibration in this week. Okay, let's see what other messages are here for you guys. What other messages are here for the Pisces? good news is on its way good news it's on its way whatever that has transpired good news is on its way and this good news is about contract new begin new start choices and that sort of a thing so here we go good news and the news is all about a contract or an offer in marriage but this is more of a contract i'm seeing it could be an offer in marriage, you know, it could be an offer of, you know, people coming together, this is going to be good, or it can be an offer in marriage, so this is going to be good, but it's an offer of a contract that is coming in from, um, it can be far away, that maybe you have to drive extra, but it's going to be good because it's going to be positive. Maybe some people have to drive a distance, but it worked the drive, okay? Because you are going to be financially stable, okay? If there is what jealousy um, with money, not to worry about this because, you know, the source of all things is where it is. Words of abundance. You have to always um, call upon the angels of abundance to bring in what it is that you need wonderful um office wonderful um situation is going to be coming in your life but you have to ask okay if you don't ask um you are not going to receive so new contracts are coming up for the people who are going to be starting next week there's going to be new contracts coming up and the angels of abundance is saying Acts and you shall receive. Okay, acts and you shall receive. So whatever that has worked, whatever that has played out in your life, they are saying not to just sit there, acts and it will be received. I want to say thank you for being here. Have a wonderful week, you Pisces. Namaste.